warming up out there. We do have some clouds starting to build, though. The radar is still dry right now. Yes, today is a weather impact day for the risk of flooding when these storms develop. But right now, we're not seeing anything in our coverage area. We are dry. There's storms around us. I am watching these storms here that are starting to develop along the coastal areas and then out to our east and our northeast. We have more thunderstorm activity. But again, for us right now, dry, good to go, but thunderstorms will develop. And so today and tomorrow, both weather impact days for the risk of street flooding where wherever these thunderstorms set up. In some thunderstorms today as well, we could also get strong gusty wind. So two things to watch out for. First, the heavy rain that could lead to some flash flooding and some street flooding. And you can see here that we do have that marginal risk of street flooding from the Weather Prediction Center. That's a level one out of four. We would also have to watch out for that strong gusty wind that could develop within these thunderstorms today. So again, in the afternoon, by two o'clock, this model has that thunderstorm activity developing across our area. More possible throughout the afternoon hours into the evening and then dissipating later on this evening around eight o'clock. Most of us really starting to be dry. So for the next 12 hours, notice temperatures stay very warm in the upper 80s. Feels like temperatures in the 90s unless you see rain. And then we're going to slowly fall back through the 80s as rain chances continue to drop down overnight tonight. Mostly cloudy out there with lows sitting in the 70s and the 60s for some of you. I do think we could be in the 60s on the North Shore. This model showing Slidell right at 70 degrees. Others of you in the lower to maybe mid 70s out there across the South Shore. So a mild and muggy start to the day tomorrow and then tomorrow afternoon it will be very similar to today. It's not exactly the same though. First, our temperatures not as warm as today. They still continue to slowly drop and rain chances perhaps just a little bit higher at around 60%. Tomorrow will also be mostly cloudy. We do have that risk of locally heavy rain again with tomorrow being another weather impact day. The Weather Prediction Center has highlighted our area again under that level one threat, that marginal threat, one out of four. So a low threat but it's still there and that's why we have it as an impact day. Highs tomorrow, again, sitting in the 80s, not as warm as today. I think we'll come in anywhere from the middle 80s to a few of you coming into the upper 80s as well tomorrow. Temperatures continue to drop back a bit. So for Wednesday, again, 86 and then Thursday, we're still staying there in the middle 80s. It's closer to what's normal for this time of year. Our average high temperature is right around 85 degrees, but by Friday into the weekend, temperatures are starting to really crank back up again. Again, and it will feel more like the 90s yet again too with the humidity. I'm not expecting as high of rain chances for the second half of the work week. Today 50%, tomorrow 60%, and then it drops down to anywhere from 10 to 20%. On Saturday, there could be another weak front that moves through our area, so that could bring a few passing showers. We'll have to watch those rain chances on Saturday. It's going to try its best to drop our temperatures Sunday and Monday. It could be successful with a few of those temperatures, but still sitting in the middle to upper 80s. So that is the same over the next seven days. Expect it to stay very warm and humid. Highest chance of rain will come tomorrow.